What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel Practically Home. If you guys are new here, hi and welcome. I'm Aubrey and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a review of my furniture that I bought from Wayfair. Wayfair.com? Wayfair? Wayfair? I don't know. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. I've had comments after comments asking about where I have gotten my bedroom furniture from. So I'm going to give you guys my honest review about my furniture that I ordered from Wayfair. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Just right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that right now. I am pleasantly surprised. So I get a little nervous when like ordering furniture online because I... Y'all, I don't know. I don't, it scares me, especially like when the furniture is like expensive. Um, and like, I just don't want it to like come janky or like it doesn't look like the photo online. That's probably like my biggest pet peeve is when it comes and it looks nothing like it does in the picture online. So anyways, having said that, we're going to jump on into it. First, we're gonna start with my bed. So a funny thing about my bed is if you guys watch my Pottery Barn dupe video, um, I'll link it here so you guys can check it out after or whatever. This was actually more of like a Pottery Barn dupe for me because on Pottery Barn they had this bed that was white, it was really streamlined, it was linen, it was so gorgeous but I didn't really want to um, spend that much money on a bed so I tried to find something that was like very similar and I found this bed on Wayfair. Okay, so they actually changed the name of this bed when I purchased it. It used to be called the Sanford Upholstered Standard Bed by Laura Foundry uh, Modern Farmhouse. Now the name is changed to Amera Upholstered Low Profile Standard Bed by Joss and Maine. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but anyways, looks like they changed it. The picture online does not show all the actual detail of the linen that this bed is made with, um, which I was so happy about. So my big thing about ordering online is I really like to read the reviews. I read every, not every review, that's being dramatic, but I read the reviews and I like to see what people say about it because I feel like if you're ordering online, that's kind of like your only option really is to like, what are the reviews? Does it have good stars? Do people like it? Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, I ended up ordering this and you guys, it's way better than it looks online. First of all, it's a fraction of the cost and Pottery Barn is selling a similar bed for. So I was all about that. I got a king size. Currently right now we only have my headboard set up because when we moved into our rental, um, we honestly, we were just so tired and I wasn't feeling up to setting up the entire bed again. So we just have the headboard up right now, but the entire bed frame is so easy to set up. And you guys, I'm telling you, it's actually really great quality. So what I really love about this bed is I think the classic look of it is what really drew me to this bed. I as I'm getting older and my style is kind of coming together more, I really like that streamlined classic look, something that is really timeless. You know, I'm not gonna like have an urge to change out my bed, I don't know, 10 years from now or whatever, but I want something that is just gonna have like that clean, classic, pretty, look and so this bed was totally it. So this bed is $739,999. Um, right now there's a sale going on about 20% off on wafer.com. Usually it's about $9.20 for the bed. So what I really love about this bed is that it's like the low profile. I love how sleek and clean the headboard looks. There's no curvature to it. It's really just really streamlined, really simple and classic. And so I totally love this bed. So actually wafer.com added more photos to this bed. I ordered this bed like almost a year ago now. I ordered it last May so since then they actually did update the photos online because I'm seeing here that they have the photo of the fabric. When I ordered this bed they did not have any photos like that. It was almost like a photoshop color on the bed so it was really like I'm telling you it was a real gamble for me okay. But anyways they did up update their photos online so I'm waiting for you guys can actually see the texture of this um, bed which is really helpful and really great for buyers so Good job, Wayfair. So with this low profile bed, is it worth the purchase? 1000% I would buy this bed again and again. The quality is great. It, I love the style of it. I love the low profile. And also what's really great is we had to get, uh, I was concerned about the gap. Um, I had a subscriber comment on one of my videos about the gap on the headboard. And what's funny about it is that I actually did have to get different, different box springs to really kind of fix the height of the mattress and the gap because I cannot stand having a gap on my bed. Now currently I do because I don't have uh, the 
bottom frame of this bed put together. But when it's all put together, you don't have that gap between the headboard and your mattress. It's all like perfectly filled in. So I did get a four inch mattress box spring, which was a perfect four or six. Oh crap, you guys, I don't even remember. I'll link it down below. But anyways, order those off of Amazon. It was a perfect uh, size between that and then my mattress. Anyways, works out great, there's no gap. Currently there is, but it's not bothering me because I don't have the entire bed put together. I should probably do that because we're gonna be here a little while. Okay, so the next items that I wanna show you are my nightstands. So it's funny, when I'm looking for these nightstands, I wanted something that was gonna be like a beefy. Like I wanted it large and in charge. I don't want like a dinky nightstand. I like stuff, I like furniture that has a lot of storage in it. So I wanted nightstands that had drawers. I wanted like a nice, um, a big enough surface to do like a lamp, mirror, See all that crap behind me? I want stuff to like put crap on. Do you know what I mean? So I found these nightstands off of a Wayfair and you guys I really did look I really do my homework before I buy furniture like I look at every website ever like everywhere Because I also want to like want to get the best price I found these off of Wayfair as well. So these are the Annie three drawer bachelor's chest this these nightstands have really great reviews They have 4.6 star reviews. There's 802 uh, Reviews on it, which is like insane. So for the price for one nightstand is usually 600 bucks um, And then sometimes if you could catch them on sale, they're like, I don't know probably like around 510 520 these nightstands were about 500 Let's just say $500 a piece. I really like the color of them. I love that they're not one one solid color. They're actually a driftwood, which has multiple colors um, within the dresser. So they have like these warm hues, kind of gray, gray hues to them. And I really like that because I feel like if I ever changed out my bedding, I feel like these nightstands would still look great. So I got these nightstands in the color weathered gray. These nightstands also come in a summer white. They do have the weather gray currently in stock, like as of right now, as I post this video, they are currently in stock if you wanna buy them. Um, but the weather gray, and you guys, I really do love it. It's like warm, it's kind of like coastal vibes, but like still looks classic. What I really loved about these nightstands is that I really love the black hardware. That was like a big draw for me because I wanna tie black as my accent color throughout my home. So I'm really trying to tie in just like little pops of black here and there. And so I love the, fra the fact that these nightstands have that accent color. And I really wanted large nightstands for the side of my bed because this is like a lower low profile bed that I have. I wanted nightstands that were gonna feel like just like a little bit taller. So these nightstands are, so it's 31 inches high, 31 inches wide, and 17 deep, just to give you guys an idea of like the size of them. So they're really beefy nightstands and you guys, they just look mwah, so good. So in the drawers, uh, the top drawers obviously is like my classic junk drawer. Like who doesn't have a junk drawer in their nightstand? And then my middle drawer, I have like some decor stuff for like the plants or like my lighter or whatever. And then the bottom drawer, I also have um, just some like folded clothes because like here at the rental, the closet's like really small. So I needed to use some space for my clothes. So anyway, so the drawers fit a lot of good things. So if you're gonna ask me if these nightstands are worth it, yes, they definitely are worth it. The quality is really nice. They just look fan freaking tastic. So that was a good purchase. Uh, we really needed like a new dresser for for under our TV and for this dresser I really wanted it to have like a multi-purpose function not only to have something under the TV but to have something that can store clothes socks underwear uh, but to store any type of TV equipment so this is the same dresser that matches our nightstands what I really liked about this dresser what like really drew me in was all the drawers this is the Annie nine drawer combo dresser. Um, the price is about $1,200, 20% off if you have the Wayfair business account, which I, I have that. So it's showing right now that it's 965. You guys, this is a heavy, heavy piece. This is like really heavy. Um, love the color. It matches the nightstands perfectly. I love the black hardware, like I said about the nightstands, but what really drew me about this dresser was the nine drawers, like that's amazing. That's what I need. I need nine drawers. It has a lot of different cubbies. My husband has one side, I have one side, and I really love the middle cabinet, which opens up like this. You guys can tell like the wood is like really nice. It has these nice heavy duty clips to kind of keep it closed um, so my kids aren't like opening it and closing it too often. But I did put these black um, rubber grip mats on the 
bottom of these shelves. There's one con that I don't like about these is that the lining that they did for the drawers, uh, the shelving is actually okay, but with the lining that they did for the drawers, it's kind of cheap. I'm not going to lie. And for paying like 1200 bucks or a thousand dollars for a dresser, like I'm a little eh, irked about that. It's like you could have just put in like a nice quality, like base for the drawer. The uh, base has this really cheap uh, wood material to it. It's really thin and kind of flimsy. I'm not going to lie. It's a little flimsy. So I did have to line all the drawers with a black rubber grip that you can buy from Walmart or, oh my gosh, I think you can get it from the dollar store or something like that. But I lined all the drawers with that because the clothes would even kind of get like, uh, they would kind of like scratch against the surface. I don't know y'all. It's just freaking weird. But I didn't like that and I don't love that about these dressers or the nightstands. The nightstands are the same exact way. So I did line it, totally fixed the problem. I haven't had an issue with them whatsoever. But there is that drawback. So if you guys are thinking about getting bedroom furniture and you like my bedroom set that I have, thank you very much. Uh, I just want you guys to know that the base of the drawers are kind of like they could have been made way better and they weren't. So just a heads up if you guys are looking to buy some furniture. And then last but not least, I also wanted to show you guys another item that I ordered from wafer.com. Now you guys, I, I'm picky. Like when it comes to office chairs, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of freaking ugly office chairs out there. I don't know why they don't make like really cute, comfortable chairs. I don't know, but there's a lot of ugly ones. Now, fortunately, I, back at our last house before we moved out, I was trying to put our front room together, which was like our office. We were always in there editing videos. My husband would work. Um, we really wanted, I wanted like a really cute, comfortable chair that like, you know, it was like, not, let me, let me take the back. I don't want cute. I want like a, wow, that's a nice chair for my office. Well, after searching up and down, I finally found one off of Wayfair that I was pleasantly surprised about. Um, this chair was surprisingly, you guys, it was $200, which seems really cheap for an office chair. Now, right now on Wayfair, it's typically $430 for this chair, but right now they have a sale that's half off. Um, it's $209. They have a 51% sale going on on this chair currently, okay? And it comes in three different colors, black, blue, and a slate gray. I purchased a black one and I really do love it. So what's nice about this office chair is I love the tall back on it. Um, I love the tuft style. I really like the cushions on the arms of the chairs. That was really important. So comfortable. And it's extremely heavy. Like for $200, I was really taken back about the quality of this chair, I had really low hopes for this chair. I was like prepared to like not like it. You guys, I actually really do love it. Now, don't get me wrong, there's been also more items that I've ordered off a of wafer I could do a different video on that have not turned out the way I had hoped. Um, I can do another one on that later. But anyways, for today, this chair is so dope. It's so cute. I love how high the back is. I love the tough look. And I like that the bottom has like a spring cushion on it. So not like you know, like a mattress, you know, it's bouncy. But it's extremely comfortable where my husband or I could like sit in it for a couple hours and it's like, wow, this is nice. I really like that you can adjust the height to it. That's really important. Also, my kids love to spin around on that chair so much, but it's really good quality. So if you guys are looking for a really great office chair, you guys check out this one because it's... It's really nice and I approve of it. So. so anyways, you guys, that is my bedroom furniture that I have so far. I hope this will help you guys out, especially if you are the ones that are commenting on my videos and you're really interested in my furniture. Um, check out wafer.com. They actually have like a lot of different things. No, this video isn't sponsored, even though that would be nice if it was. But it's not. Um, this is just the furniture that I personally bought and I really, really enjoyed it. And I bought a ton of other things from Wafer like lighting, kitchen lighting, bathroom lighting, um, things like that that I could give you guys a review on. If you are interested, if you guys shop on Wafer, let me know what you guys like. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys have purchased from there. Let me know if you guys like it. I am currently on the hunt for like my kids bedrooms like that's like gonna be my next project is like getting their rooms kind of put together so anyways until next time i will catch you guys on my next video